Milano and welcome back to the AC Milan career mode. It's me Dan back again and today we will be playing a couple of games for you guys. We've got uh, Pimonti, Pime uh, we've got Juventus in that second leg in the semi-finals of the, um, of the uh, Coppa Italia. We've got a, a similar game against Sampdoria and then obviously we've got our first, uh, I think, is that the quarter-final? I'm going to say quarter-final, quarter-final, semi-final, or last... No, it's not the last 16, because we beat um, Pierce, we beat Nice, didn't we? So, I'm going to say it's the quarter-final, I think. It's the quarter-final of the Europa League, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, yeah, we're definitely going to uh, be doing that first leg, and then next episode, I think we shall probably do a simming episode, I think. Um, with uh, Lazio and then obviously the second leg against Ren and then we got Udinese so yeah we got easy a couple easy games there um, so just before we start I just want to say thank you guys for all the recent likes and comments recently and I just want to say thank you to all new subscribers for subscribing so thank you guys for that as well uh, oh yes I forgot um, yeah so um, I'm just going to quickly show you when we finished off last time I think we finished on the first and we had a uh, youth development update and yeah um, how can I explain this I think I got the bestest I don't know if this is the best youth uh, player that everyone if anyone's had I know I've seen players actually I've I have seen this actually I've seen players have um, some players uh, some guy uh, some youtubers have had um, like high 80 overall rated players in the youth setup and it is head it is yeah it's it's happened to us as well um, I can gladly reveal so We've got this guy. We've got we, in the last update. We had, I think, we had seven people. Um, three of them were really good. The other four were absolutely rubbish. But three, these three guys, yeah, especially one. And let's look at them. So as you can see, Luca Berardi. He's a centre attacking, centre mid, centre attacking mid. He's sixty nine overall. Uh, I don't like his attacking work rate and defensive work rate. But you know, four, five star, five star. That is really good. 62 overall as well. His pace is a bit uh, rubbish, but everything else is fine. We've got Roberto Romano, who's a right mid, left mid, left winger. Um, 5 foot 10. Again, you know, all he's looking good. But look at this guy. Elia Bernardi. What a player this guy is. When it came up potential, like 78 to 94, and then when I clicked on him... You know, these guys were like worth like four. I think this guy was worth about five million. This guy was about four million. When I clicked on his name, he it was worth twenty million. I was like, oh my days! Like seriously, I wish I I wish I recorded the reaction when I looked at it because I normally we just get you know rubbish players, but this guy, oh my days! Yeah, potential seventy eight to ninety four. But his overall is already 82, and he's 17, uh, 17 years of age, and I am oh my, I'm, I don't know, I'm so flabbergasted. I'm so, I'm so flabbergasted about it. Um, so yeah, we definitely, I think we've got Ibrahimovic's replacement right here. I mean, look at them stats: pace 89, shooting 82. Okay, his skill moves isn't that good. You know, five star, four star. His attacking work rate is good as well. His passing is good. Dribbling's good. Um, I, I just, I, I just don't know. I'm like, what? Seriously, he's got finesse shot, a speed dribbler, flair. I just, yeah, I do not know. Um, got good free kick accuracy as well, actually. Penalty, penalties is good at. Oh my, yeah. So I don't know if we can sign him. Um, let's see if we can promote him to the senior team. Can we promote him? Oh, we can. We've just done it. Um, so yeah, we we pretty much got rid of every other, you know, every other else of player. Um, to I think you know we had quite a few uh, rubbish players to be honest. I know we had a couple eighteen year olds with who are much more uh lower sixties uh players that we had last time. So I got rid of all these guys and then just gonna 
see if we can get keep getting that. But look, look at them two players. I just can't believe that. Youth development, yeah. Um, a future sign, yeah. I don't know. Um, we got the yeah, we got the striker. We definitely got the striker. Um, so we're gonna put him into the team. So I don't know where he's gonna go. So what's his name? I keep forgetting his name. It's Elia Bernardi, I think it is. So yeah, Rebic will be coming out. Bernardi will be coming in. He's minus two, uh, but he'll get his fitness hopefully in the next couple of days. Hopefully, um, well, his match sharpness. We're gonna put him into the first team. Um, we're gonna well, we're gonna put him into the uh, second team for now, and then. We'll put him into the first team, maybe like maybe in the next episode or something. But yeah, Rebic, his days are gone because we've got Isaac, and then obviously Ibrahimovic is retiring. So you know we've got his replacement, and what a replacement it is! Elia Bernardi, 17, 17 years of age. I've you know I have seen it um, on the on, on the FIFA careers Reddit on. Um, I've seen players really you know of eighty overall, eighty overall, eighty one overall rated players, but eighty two, that is something else. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely add him to the first team as well. We'll put in him in for Rebic. So Bernardi, welcome to the team. Um, what number is it giving him? Let's see what number it was giving him. So yeah, so we're, we're kind of delaying here, guys, aren't we? I'm sorry about that, but we will play the two guys. Two. He's given the number twenty-one. Uh, so we have a yeah. You know what? We, he, he can be number twenty-one for now. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so yeah, let's get into today's game. Uh, we got a press conference. Let's do that, and we'll get the uh, um, see if we can get a victory. But what a youth prospect that is. An 82 overall rated youth prospect. I do not know. I seriously do not know. Um, play match. We Obviously, we're going to go in with our second team. So, let's get into it. Let's play match then, shall we? Oh, what a ball to Castillo. It's Castillo. Yes. What a goal it is. What a ball it was from Bernardi. Just loops it over the top towards uh, Castillo on the counter-attack. It's a great goal. It's Bernardi with the assist as well. I could have gone all the way, but I just thought, you know what, let's just belt it across and see if we can get it. And he does. And uh, what a goal it is. Castillo just puts it past Buffon. And that is 1-0, but 1-1 on aggregate. So we're back in it. Can we find a winner? Oh, good ball to Diaz. He's going to put it on a plate for the debutant. It is 2-0. And of course, I had to tramp it towards him. It's Elia Bernardi with the goal. And that is 2-1. Great counter-attack. Great through ball. And then I could have gone all the way. But I thought, you know what? Let's give him his debut goal. And we can't miss from there. Great goal, and he gets his first goal for the club. One, uh, two, uh, two-nil, but two-one on aggregate. Elia Bernardi, welcome to AC Milan. Oh, what a through ball that is to Diaz, and back inside to Bernardi again, and that is three-nil. What a pass that was from Bernardi. He set it up again for Luis Diaz, and this time it wasn't a tramp. It was a cross, a low cross. They're playing a high line. Great through ball, and then really good ball into the box, and it's Elia Bernardi again with a strike. And Buffon, absolute no chance. What a goal for the eight. I don't know if he's 17 or 18. He's one of the two, but what a debut for Elia Bernardi. 89th minute goal, 3-0. That is game over. And there we go, there's full time as well. That is us through to the final. And I think we deserved it in the end. You know, first half, we did... I don't. Th did we score in the first half or was it the second half? I'm pretty sure we scored in the second half, I'm pretty sure, didn't we? 
Um, but yeah, three nil victory at the uh, at the uh, Juventus Stadium. Elia Bernardi, what a game he's had! What a debut! Uh, yeah, really good debut for him. So let's look at the highlights. So he had a, a shot here. I think this is the finesse shot. Uh, just a heavy touch there, and then tries the finesse shot. It's just unlucky with that. And then obviously Castello scores. The, yeah, it was for the 64th minute we scored, and then two late goals from Elia Bernardi. What a what a youth he's going to be. He's a 10 rating as well. Look at that. 8.87, 8 shots, 7 on target, 65% um, possession, 35% possession. What a game. What a debut for him. 3-0 victory. That is going to be good for him. Um, so I think with... Oh, I think I did go on a bit too much with the youth uh, prospects and all that. Um... And, yeah, oh my days, what a signing. It's not even a signing, is it? We brought him up for our youth academy. I don't know how, but we got him. And what a game, he'd, what a game he's had. Um, yeah, great performance, but oh my days. <laughs> Literally, oh my days. Um, I wonder how much he's worth. How much is he worth? Because, if, if, you know, we could maybe sell him. I, I don't want to sell him, but if we could sell him... Has the potential to be special. Um, does it say, oh no, we need to go to financial. 43 million. Wow. At age 17 as well. Wow. Oh my. Oh my days. Um, yeah, do you know what? Let's finish off with a quick sim against Sampdoria. We're going to go in with the first team. Uh, we're not going to do the press conference. Let's just quick sim. And hopefully we'll get three points against Sampdoria. And we do a 4-0 victory. Castello, Ibrahimovic and Ibrahimovic and Sun with the goals. So, yeah, a 4-0 victory. Eight shots, six on target. Two shots, one on target. But, yeah, really good game. Um, it looks like Bernardi came on for uh, Ibrahimovic, which is good to see. And the Taran also came on. But, yeah. A really good 4-0 victory. So, uh, to finish off with, that is that, guys. Um, next episode, we will... I think we will... I think we will play the first leg against... Um, we'll... Yeah, I think... we. Uh, I don't know if we'll play the first leg against Red. And I think we should be able to beat Red, to be honest. Um, it might be just a similar episode. I'm not too sure. Uh, next episode so look forward to that um so i'm actually gonna end it for today so please like comment and subscribe and i shall see you guys next time so right i'm going bye